This is just me doing our trailer reaction. This is a new trailer. Well, not really a trailer, but more of a feature at the Terminator Dark Fate. Um, I'm slightly curious with this one. This one, I'm... I know they um, reveal some footage. I have a weird feeling we're probably going to get also a new trailer for this sometime soon. But from the footage that they showed it um, recently at San Diego Comic Con, it does sound very interesting. Again, um, if you see my previous reaction to this, um, I'll link it down below. But you know that I'm a bit hesitant on this one. And also, I think the title Dark Fate is kind of stupid. Um, it's a silly ass title, kind of like the King's, the King's Men. But. I, I'm very curious about this one because this one because it seems like they're kind of pulling all the stops with this one like for example they just announced that Eddie Furlong is going to be back and I'm wondering how much of a role he's going to play I know that um, I think when the Cepho is going to reveal that um, there's going to be a stunt double for that um, they, they cast like I think a stunt double for him so I don't know I have some questions um, but and apparently um, the robot um, the Mackenzie Davis's character Jesus Christ, what is going on with the freaking door? Um, Mackenzie Davis. God damn it. I need to fix that door. Um, yeah, Mackenzie Davis' character, her name's going to be Grace. And apparently she's going to be an enhanced so human soldier. So it's so my guess is uh, kind of like uh, Sam Warrington's character in Terminator Salvation. Um, I don't know. But either way, I'm, again, slightly curious. Uh, the more and more I hear about the more I'm like, okay. But then there are also things like I David S. David Goyer right in this, the fact that this is a six Terminator movie that tries to reboot continuity, that tries to ignore the continuity of its previous movie, and it just, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know. Maybe this feature will impress me, maybe the trailer will impress me, but either way. Also, it is going to be R-rated, which is very nice because we have not gotten a fucking R-rated movie, since, R-rated Terminator movie since 2003. So for almost like, fuck, has it been that long? 16 years jesus christ oh my god where this time gone all right but yeah let's jump into this but before we do that um i just want to make sure everyone um uh, subscribes to my patreon on there you can get early access videos uh i know show reactions and reactions shows that i'm potentially going to do once i get my shit together uh for example i'm thinking about maybe starting back up twin peaks and then also i'm thinking about maybe starting star trek um be starting with the original series and yeah so make sure so if you want to get more content link description down below and two, one. Mm. Last night, I was mm. standing there looking at a monitor. Mm -hmm. On one camera was Linda Hamilton. Mm. Oh, and they brought back Linda and Hamilton. Camera, which is nice. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. And Gabriel Luna's um, a new Terminator, which is awesome. It's yeah. awesome. I can't believe I got the mention of the show, but yeah. Let's recapture that at home. It's our rating. It's grim, it's mm. gritty, it's fast, it's intense. Mm. Work hard and play hard, and this is what this movie was all about. <laughs> Tim has this fresh vision, and like what he did in Deadpool, his action is huge. Mm. It's just a fast white knuckle ride. Mm. You better watch your ass. Mm. I hunt Terminators. Mm. Metal motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> Only mm. in the footsteps of T1 and T2. <laughs> that adrenaline rush feeling, that sense of terror. Mm. In this film, the action mm. is ten times bigger. It's like, mm. holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Mm. This film is relentless. Mm. It just does not stop. Mm. It's just fucking insane. Mm. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! the trailer for or rather the featurette for Terminator Dark Fate and again I'm still very hesitant on this movie because of some of the writing credits I mean don't get me wrong Tim Miller the cast and crew and the fact that it's R-rated as well as the fact that it looks kind of just I'm not gonna lie it looks awesome it looks really cool especially that last one where like Terminator's like Shh, or Arnie's like shooting in the Terminator and then, and then it's like the face can't change it and also I do like the and I do like the idea of them Force Awakening into it kind of bit where you know it's the new people but then it's also the old people and it does look like it's gonna be interesting it's just can this writing be good like yes it can be R-rated yes it can have amazing action sequels but is the writing gonna be good because the problem that I have with the last three films the oh, 
God damn it. The last three films is that the writing have not been good. And I'm just hoping that it's good. And again, you know, you guys know, and I, and again, you, and, and again, I have really major bias against this, but you know how much I'm not a fan of Goyer. Of Goyer, I don't know how much involvement he had with it, but it just seems like when you have, because again, on the story thing, it's James Cameron, Charles Ellie, um, who apparently was a showrunner back in the day with, um, showrunner back in the day on, um, Dark Angel, which is what he was working on before. Jack Freeman, which is very surprising because he was one of the co-creators of the Sarah Connor Chronicles back in the day, which is, again, very interesting. And then you have David Goyer and Justin Rhodes. Now, Justin Rhodes, I don't have a problem with. Or rather, I know he's doing the new Robocop movie with uh, Neil Blomkamp, but I haven't seen anything, so I'm not going to say anything negative about him. Goyer, I have the problem with because I y'all know my feelings on Goyer. And then also, they brought, and also for the screenplay, it's him... It's Goyer Rhodes and then Billy Ray, who was involved with um, recently, I believe it was Overlord. Overlord, which I really enjoyed. So, again, I think this movie's going to be balls to wall action and intense and, again, R rated. So, it's like, hell yeah. Is it still going to be a good movie? Is it going to be like up to like Terminator and Terminator 2? Because Terminator and Terminator 2 are amazing action horror movies. Like, the first one's more of a horror movie, and while the second one, well, with elements of action, but the second one's, like, action with a little bit of horror. So I'm hoping somehow it remembers most of the first two movies as opposed to the last three that we've gotten for the last ten years. So, so yeah. Um, but, yeah, again, I'm willing to give this a chance. It's just, you know, I, I still got my hesitation on this reaction. Make sure you comment down below in the comment section. Also, subscribe. My name is Josh. Peace.